realize that you've been smiling for hours. <laughs> I wonder why. Since the last time you and that fool Alistair shot glances at each other, in fact. He must be pleasant enough in bed, for surely I cannot imagine anyone enduring his conversation. Yeah. Oh, you have no I idea. <laughs> Glad to hear it then. It is a bit sickening to watch <laughs> these two, but I imagine it at least takes your mind from our situation. Have it your way. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? It's hard not to notice the doe-eyed looks he gives you. Especially when he thinks no one's watching. It's almost too sweet for my taste. <laughs> and I'm an old lady who should be making lace hearts and fuzzy blankets with animal motifs. No, I won't be making socks with pom-poms for you anytime soon. But that's hardly my point. I've noticed your blossoming relationship. And I wanted to ask you where you thought it was going. Alistair is a fine lad, skilled in battle, but quite inexperienced when it comes to affairs of the heart. I would hate to see him get hurt. Well... You are both Grey Wardens, and he is the son of a king. You have responsibilities which supersede your Unfortunately, this, this is pretty true. Like we are going to see in this game. That may be true, but he is still a Grey Warden. Love is ultimately selfish. It demands that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of all else. A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? Tough choice. Nothing is certain. Not in these times. You cannot take anything for granted. I want you to be aware of this. I am just trying to minimize the suffering that may come to either of you. I have given my advice. Do with it what you will. She's mother of the, this group. What's on your mind? Oh, yes, and thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better today. Well, thank you for your kindness, my dear. It certainly warms these rickety old bones. What's on your mind? It is no trouble. You have restored Eamon. When you're ready, we shall leave for dinner. Okay, end well. game. I shall continue my efforts here. Be swift. We haven't much time before Logan finds a way out of this. When you're ready, we shall leave for dinner. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to dinner. Ah, uh, please notify me if you uh, redeem something from the page so that I can double check on on my end. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Logan, this is an honor that the regent would find honor. to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord okay, just, in Ferelden they are just away from his estates putting while forward a blight platitudes. Roars at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies.
Kun sinne ostakaa perhaps viidiitä Peter Chen. Ah, Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathy on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason for anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. The Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. Nepotism is, is, a, is a way to go forward. There's a lot of Don't titles. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight. With your selfish ambitions to the throne. I was not talking to you. <laughs> I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. Huh. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Maker knows. Perhaps he's gone mad. I would have imagined pigs would fly before Loghain Mactir would turn against our king. Well, mate, he's got pigs flying, so... Calling the landsmeet is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Loghain's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. <laughs> what comes, my friend? Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Inova's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Oh, okay. The queen, she is in a difficult position. She loved her husband more and trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is barely subtle, no? But Brendan Howe, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. Uh -huh. So she goes to Howe. A visit from the queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. Okay. He calls her every sort of name. Traitor being the kindest. He locks her in a guest room. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I think her life is in danger. I heard Hal say she would be a greater ally dead than alive. Especially if her death could be blamed on Al Eno. We may have no choice but to trust an aura. The Queen is well loved. If Logan succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford. To that could work. I have some uniforms. Al Hal hires so many new guards every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servant's entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to house estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. All right. Things get complicated. I'm glad you decided to help. With Anora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against her. She's obviously more than a maidservant. I imagine it's useful for She's a also from or less. Who can move more freely she because uh, from or, or less they are talking in a French a accent. If a Nora has truly turned against her father, she becomes the one thing we lack. Someone with a true understanding of Logain's plans and allies. With her guidance, we can form a far more successful strategy against him. No more easily than without you there. There will be none to see it, save those who are already loyal to Logain. And given your reputation, Warden, I think Logain knows it's safer to carry out his plots far from where you could disrupt them. As you like. My palace is your palace. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. <laughs> Something you need, my dear. Well, we're not exactly alone. What did you have in mind? Oh, oh, but what about our audience? You don't think... Oh, never mind. One public display of affection coming up. <laughs> uh. Here you are. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? I have watched you for a time, and perhaps I was wrong. There seems to be something special between the two of you. He seems less guarded when in your company, allows himself to relax, and he seems genuinely happy. I think I was too harsh in my judgment before, and I am sorry. What you have may not last forever. Death and duty may part you. But love's worthiness is not diminished because of that. I should have seen this before. Instead, you learn to cherish every precious moment that you spend together, knowing that it may be the last. And for those of us watching, well, it brings warmth to these old bones to know that something so beautiful can be found in the midst of chaos and strife. Shall Look not there, pass. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. Hmm. Then I shall need to seek him out once we are done. Here I am, Talisan. Ah. Tell me, were you sent or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course, but I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue. I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back, and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. And that's not likely to happen. Okay. You're going to lose, Talisan. You're going to lose badly. You should have stayed in Antiva. What? 
You've gone soft in the head. The crows will make you pray for death, you fool. Perhaps they will at that. But I'll take what time I have. You have a choice, Talisan. All of you do. Traitor. I won't fight against you, Talisan. We were friends once, and more. But I will leave you to your fate. Good luck. <laughs> begun. The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al Hau is inside. The estate is in poor repair. The new Al has not been very pleasant in paying his workmen. Uh -huh. He will be right behind you. This way. I can distract the guards, but you must move quickly. Hurry! My lady does not have much time. Are you all prepared? Hello, no, doors. I will go distract the guards. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. Oh, you must come! I saw something! A better fountain! I think it was a dark spawn! <laughs> dark spawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten! Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench. They will eat us all alive! Please, get help! If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And trust these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here, quickly! Okay, nice and easy. Ah, oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. So how many of them have a flaming sword? She's in the guest room, off the main hall. Andras, they guide us. How did the old armed servants ever cook anything in here? No. Look at there. The clay warden is here, my lady. Thank the maker. I would greet you properly, but I'm afraid we've had a setback. My host was not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. Find the mage who cast the spell. He'll most likely be at house side. Okay, kill <laughs> so much well, for secrecy. Well, if he didn't know you were here, he soon will. Thank you, Warden. My prayers go with you. Okay, kill Hob and the rooms. mage. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. goes there Okay oh. Most of these soldiers seem to be quite dumb asses 
I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Do you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. I know they're a crave one then. Us. A warden from Orlais. Jada, I think. Or was it Monsumar? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. Amri Orden, senior warden of Jada. But born and bred in Hyava. I'm glad to be home. Because I wasn't there. I was sent from Orlais when we received no word from King Caelan. The king had invited all the wardens of Orlais and their support troops to join him. Then nothing. We had 200 wardens and two dozen divisions of cavalry. The first we heard of Logain's edict was when everyone was turned back at the border. That was when the rumor reached us that wardens were being blamed for the massacre. We finally decided it was safest to send someone alone to learn how best to fight the Blight and this regime simultaneously. As a native Ferelden, I volunteered to make the crossing. With an offer of hospitality and a poison chalice, I was fool enough to think Loghain didn't yet know who I was. I saw him going to the dungeons. He may still be there. Okay, let's go to the dungeons and... I wouldn't be much use to you in my current condition. And if you'll pardon me, I have a sudden desire to breathe some free air. I will seek you out later, after I find a good physician. And uh, he was tortured. Sister. Don't leave me here. Get me out of here. That's an order. Was this supposed to be a lesson? Did my father think it funny to leave me for so long before sending you? Who? Then my... My father didn't send you? I am Oswin, son of Ban Sigurd, of the Dragon's Peak Banner. Ah. If you aren't one of our soldiers, pray tell me, who should I be thanking for my rescue? Marek's bastard. Then I need not question why you're here, for your friend's claim to the throne is the greatest threat to Loghain's regime. You have my heartfelt gratitude. And, I assume, the gratitude of the entire Dragon's Peak Banner. If my father sent no one after me... I can only assume that he does not yet know the true colors of the snakes he is allied with. But if you talk to him, I'm certain he would offer you any reward you might ask. I can tell you little, only how I came to be here. One soldier returning from Ostagar was my wet nurse's son. We have been friends since birth. He told me his unit was ordered to turn their backs on Kaelin at Ostagar before the Darkspawn overwhelmed him. The next day, he disappeared. When I went to search for him, I accepted a drink from a stranger and ended up here. Enemy of my enemies, my friend. Then there is a Landsmeet after all. How said the Isle of Redcliffe was dead and the Landsmeet called off? I swear, if there be any forum to speak out against Loghain, my father will be there. Now, please. I must try to get to him. I cannot see the last of this place too soon. Okay. Tortured noble stuff in this game. They said to retreat. The horn sounded and we turned, and then the screams. We rode and they screamed and screamed and. <sighs> yeah. Mother, can you smell the blood? They said it was only Darkspawn. But we hate them too. They died, and we left them in the swamp. The witch. The witch! He's obviously mad. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. No family. No family. All friends, all daughters, all wives are dead. Leave. Yes, leave. Find someplace safe. Well, that, that was short.
hole. No, we are just four of us and uh, our hole. He's not a pushover. I think he was a rogue. He's his class was. Character class, so okay. Very well. Cutscene. Make a spit on you. I deserved more. More. More of what? More torture? Sure. Why not? It is begun. Nice axe. There's a key key for the Queen, I think. This is special dungeon or something. High prison. Lower prison, okay. Oh, that can't be healthy. Make it have mercy on your faithful servant. Grant me a place under your stay. Bride of the Maker, have mercy on me. I'll stun her. Is that you, little sister? No, I, I don't know you, do I? Are you He's mad. I... Where am I? I... I'm Erminrick, Knight Lieutenant of the Denry Gentry. You aren't one of the ten men? He sounds like he's in lyrium withdrawal. He's got all the signs, confusion, weepiness. He probably doesn't even know what he's saying. If the Grand Cleric knew he were in here, she'd be spitting hot coals. Nobles don't have authority over Templars. I... Uh, I failed in my duties. Make you... Forgive me. I failed. And there's no telling what he's done. The Malefica... He had turned blood magic upon Templars and Circle Mages to escape from his tower. Near Redcliffe, I cornered him, but the Thames men took him from me and brought me here. Ah, that guy. Yes. He destroyed his phylactery. We were spread out, trying to find him. I was alone. I... You are real, aren't you? My dreams are so strange now. Please, if you're not a dream, help me. Give this ring to my sister, Alstana. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. Please, ask her to pray for me. The last Templar. What would you like?
Our healer was savage. Main healer. Luckily, Morrigan can do something. Like give some play. My thanks. I look more the part than you do. <laughs> we must go quickly and avoid notice. If house people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have been killed. <sighs> Good options. Warden. In the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. Don't be ridiculous. The Queen isn't being held prisoner here or anywhere else. Her father would never stand for such a thing. What? Sir Caprian, a praise the maker you're here. This brigand tried to kidnap me. What? I'm afraid. Bring them down. Logan wants the warden, dead or alive. <laughs>
that that mage must die immediately. Thing. Uh -huh, really? Barely met, and already she betrays us. She and my mother would get <laughs> along famously. What in Andraste's name has happened? Are you all right? The wardens have been captured. Oh, but she leaves out the best part of this tale. The part where she threw us all at Logain's henchmen and ran. What? How could this happen? Never mind that. The question is how to free her. Surely you mean them, Marcus. We need Alistair too. Yes, of course, I meant Alistair too. Calthrian will take her to Fort Draken. Getting in will be no small feat. Uh-huh, okay. Prisoner escape. Well, quick, quick thinking, that was like impossible battle. I like this place. I've been worse. I'll be better still when we get out of here. I hope you have a plan. All right. So. has always something in her sleep. Now, how many... Well, this is much, much better now. Card uniforms. Well, of course. Why not? Didn't want to actually. Officer's armory, colonel's office. What's the password? That's kind of fruity for a password, don't you think? <sighs> Delighted green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. What's this? You must be the new recruit we were expecting. <laughs> oh, right. You're late. The rest of your patrol is in the storage room. Find them and get yourselves ready for inspection. Did you need something? Thank the maker. What are we going to do about him, though? <sighs> is there some problem? So the assistant quartermaster is a little miffed with us at present. I told you we should have put those potatoes in the cellar straight away. 
Some things went amiss. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Got chewed out by Tern Logang, and then he chewed out the assistant. All right. Yeah, that the crap goes down. Trouble. The assistant quartermaster won't give us our blades, and you can't pass inspection without a regulation sword. He's down the hall in the armory. Maker, help us. Okay, we need some swords for the soldiers. <laughs> Wrong armory. Perhaps. No, okay, no, we have a two soldiers following us. Uh. What's this? You two blighted fools make a new friend. It might have that. Regulation swords, right? Take these, just mind you take care of them. That's good steel. on your first patrol mission, do you? That's what I like to hear. You there! Yes, sir. Stand up straight. You're a soldier in the King's army, and the King's own men don't slouch. And you? Yes, sir. Stop fidgeting. You can fidget on your own time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Kiss ours. You there, Blondie. Uh, yes, sir. What's the one thing a soldier can't do without? What do I tell him? Uh, uniform, sir? Oh, you really are as dumb as you look. <laughs> you runts aren't good enough for patrol yet. You two are assigned to scrub the kennel floor. Maybe it'll knock some sense into you. Dismiss! Damn. Okay, our friends came to help us. Leliana came with them. Ah, oh, good thing. Time for idle chatter. Maybe we should speak after we get out of here. Just a thought.
be gallivanting about the house all day. So I'm That's been Make almost well. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. After your rather alarming lack of subtlety, I feel the worst for you. I prayed for your safe return. <laughs> That's so sweet. It almost makes me want to kill you less. Well, what did you expect me to do? You announced me to my father's most trusted lackey. Did the purpose of my disguise entirely escape you? I barely managed to slip away from her when we reached the palace. I am hoping that, despite our unfortunate beginning, we can still work together. Will you hear me out? We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Perhaps it will be more difficult for him but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake How is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the Landsmeet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Devon right. has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alien age. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset. Which means that how and Oh, I elves have a much reason to be upset. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Laura, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as held prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the land's meet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already Queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan, I am what this country needs. Not an untrained king mm. who does not even want to. She's actually the one who uh, led the country, father. so. Consider what I and not said. his husband, so. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Logain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close. This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Logan. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for low game. Honora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. <laughs> his mother was a man, but his father was Mary Merrick, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. 
I did my best, but we all hoped Kaelin and Honora would secure the succession. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. <laughs> that would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen. Unless they both agree to it. And I've seen the way Alistair looks. Ah. Problems. Problems. Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Elysians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Tony. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate. And how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows hmm. who to turn to for bad aid. Should at all. that training fail him, he will be fine. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with the woman. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I realize that my actions at Hal's estate may not have painted me in the best light. For that, I apologize and hope that we can start again. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Uh, why not simply marry Alistar, the best of both worlds? Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. And are you so truly eager to pawn the lad off on me anyway? I rather got the sense that you two might be. I'm not eager, but no, but it, it's still a good I idea. I see. So be it then. Alistair does have Theron blood. It is the one thing I do not have, truth be told. A union might be considered a compromise, but... Is this something Alistair even desires? <laughs> well, Alistair wants is no deep but I think I can convince him. Let me say him. this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Well, technically, yeah. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. to sacrifice some things like happiness so I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne she has a nasty glare she wants to be queen I get it I don't trust her any more than her father but I get it
They say that Anora is smart, determined. She's supposedly the one who's really ruled here, not Kaelin. She's her father's daughter. Me? I say that's where the problem lies. People like her and her father always think they're the only ones who can fix things. So everyone should just stay out of their way. What do you think? When the lands meet comes, you might even have a say. I think you should marry uh, Anora. This is this is most simplest best best option here in this game. Marry her, as in marriage. As yes. In her husband. <laughs> Alistair is a bit slow. You did, didn't you? You. Why would you do that? What about us? Right. I'll accept that for now. Why do you think I should do this then? Tell me. I think this is the best compromise for peace. He can rule while you lead. It's perfect. It's a smart move. I think you know that too. Compromise? Yes, I suppose the lands meet would like the sound of that. All right. Convinced me. If it comes to that, I'll agree to marry her. Make her help us all. Go and tell her. Do you think it's a good idea? Me? I think I need a drink. Ten. Yeah, he <laughs> he took it pretty well. Playing messenger here. Well. Have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... And what of you, Ruby? What will become of you once I Kaelin had his women. He was thoughtful enough to keep them discreet. But I always yeah. knew. Am I to have yet another husband whose eyes lie elsewhere? If so, I would appreciate knowing now. I'm not going anywhere. I see. Then all I wish is that you two do not embarrass me. That is, I think, not unfair to ask. Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Ask me whatever you like. Of course it does. Do you think me heartless? Yes. But how much worse would I be to calmly stay at the side of a man who murdered my husband? Yeah, point. It seems a strange word to describe a marriage our parents arranged when he was newly born and I still in swaddling clothes. But yes, I loved him. He was reckless, impetuous, and charming. Had he not been king, he would have made a dashing rogue for a band of players. We were a good pairing. He would not have wanted the burden of ruling any more than I would have liked to remain the silent wife in my husband's shadow. Caelan was so idealistic. The world was his storybook, and he was the hero. Uh, my father is different. He's an idealist too, but he knows what idealism costs. They often clashed, but never seriously, never for long. Kaelin would always come round to father's way of thinking eventually. And then the blight came. Kaelin dreamed of uniting all the nations of Thedas against the Darkspawn. It was a dream he wouldn't surrender. What my father saw, however, was the boy he had swaddled inviting Orlesian troops back into the land he had fought to free of them. And for once, my poor, foolish husband wouldn't back down.
It was more than just my own loss. But I thank you all the same. They would not believe it, most of them, even from my lips. Loghain is a hero they've looked up to their whole lives. Far easier to believe you or me a liar than him a murderer and tyrant. That's why it will be critical to find some way to discredit him before the land meet. We must have proof of my father's crimes for the bands, or they will never believe us. Ask me whatever you like. Do you want me to try my luck at fortune telling? There was an old woman who read palms in the village of Warren when I was a child. She told me that I would have ten children and be bored of the winter heat when I grew up. I can't say I put much faith in foretelling. What will happen depends much on you, Warden. But you certainly knew that already. Then I wish you luck, Warden. <laughs> 